Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another weekly tip video. Back in episode 901, Rosemary took us through the Shortcuts app and setting automation actions. In this episode, I'm going to show you how easy it is to trigger automation actions using NFC tags and your iPhone. Now, NFC stands for Near Field Communications, and an NFC tag is a small, inexpensive device, usually in the form of a sticker that can be programmed and read by your iPhone. Once the iPhone reads the tag, it triggers an automation action, and you can stick these tags in all sorts of places, and I'll show you two examples. I've bought a pack of 10 NFC tags from Amazon for around about £9. You can also get metal based ones for sticking on metal services. In order for this to work seamlessly, you do need a relatively recent iPhone, uh, basically anything from an iPhone XS uh, or newer. Now, these are the only iPhones that can read NFC tags natively without having to use a separate app. The first example is switching some LED lights on and off using an NFC tag. Now, I have a set of what's called LIFX lights behind this acoustic panel, and I've added them to HomeKit. And as you can see, I can switch them on and off using the Home app. Now, rather than just opening the app or trying to remember a Siri command, I want to be able to stick an NFC tag on my desk and just tap it with my iPhone to switch them on or off. But let's go ahead and set up the automation. Now, we set this up through the Shortcuts app. And then under Shortcuts, go to Automation. Then to Create Personal Automation. And then if we scroll down to the bottom, you'll see there is, there we go, NFC. So if I go down to NFC and click on here. So the first thing we need to do is to tap on Scan. And then I need to bring my iPhone close to the tag. I use the top of the iPhone. And there we go. So now I just need to name the tag. So Control Panel Lights. Say OK. And then Next. So now we choose the actions that this automation will run. So I'll just say Add Action. And if I scroll down, we should see some actions already. Here we go. So these are all actions from the uh, LIFX application. So there's an option to turn the panel light on, and there is also an option to turn the panel light off. Let's go ahead and say Switch the panel light on. So I'll select that one. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad, and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.